This is Jim at Float It. Uh, I just want to show you how our baits float. Uh, most plastics on the market today, they usually sink. But we wanted to come up with uh, plastics that would float. So here is a uh, perfect beaver bait, crawfish, name brand. Uh, when you let it go, it usually will just sink. But here's ours to float it. It floats. And just by pushing it down, you can see it still wants to float. Here it is with a hook on it. Still, see it still wants to float. Even with a hook. Most baits usually sink with a hook. But ours float. Now I want you to see how it floats using a uh, Texas rig. Yes, I'm using a goldfish bowl, so it's a little pathetic, I know. But I just want to show you how it floats. And this is when it's rigged Texas style. You can see how it just wants to pick the whole hook right up. The tears just don't float and the body sinks. But to float it, the body actually floats also at the same time. And if you look at the claws, they look like a uh, like little flaps, and they vibrate up and down as you pull it through the water. So you can use it as a swim jig also, and those legs will kick up and down. And the uh, the paddle tears, I guess, the long claws. They're really thin, so when you really shake it, they really dance. So, it's not like a thick piece of plastic. Here's a, uh, a drop shot rig. You can see how it wants to float right up. So just to think about if you had like a foot, one foot leader, two foot leader on a drop shot. Looks deadly, don't it, for a small mouth, for a large mouth. And here's something like a Carolina rig, but the line's too big here, the tank's too small. But you can get a feel for, if you have the weight on the bottom, with a foot, two foot, three foot liter. See how she wants to float even with the hook on it. Now with the float it, you can use the worm or the crayfish on any jig head. Some jig heads are specially made to be a stand up. But to float it, you can use any jig head. So if you're on our website or if you're on YouTube, go to our homepage, check under the product tab. That's where you'll find our worms and our crayfish and our colors that uh, we have. I hope this helps you to understand a little bit more about the uh, floating plastics.